Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The final day of action, day three, the heavyweights. It was a pretty good one, and we're gonna start off with a few upsets. So first, Adamian, he goes out. This was kind of surprising to me because his Kosoto is really good. So I was really surprised to see him being countered here. And the man who got him from Cyprus, Kral Sani Otakis. Sorry, I don't know how to say his name. I don't even know where Cyprus is, but he had an incredible day. Not only taking out Adamian, but taking out Uyoka as well. Although he didn't make it too far after this, but great work from him. He'll be definitely impressed with his own performance there. Now, before we get into the results, I did want to show you guys these two really nice techniques. The first one here, a really nice setup that led into a Tayatoshi. I mean, look at that. Did you guys see the little foot on the outside kind of baiting the Kosoto? Really, really nice. And then this next one here from Kawabata and I asked Aki Horse who went to the same high school and university as Kawabata and apparently he's actually aiming for the outside of the leg here and so even if a Osoto comes he can jump down there demolish him with the Seominage really nice stuff so for the results we're gonna start at under 100s Kanikovitsky he is just looking unstoppable I mean look at this technique Ashiguruma I love that technique and he was just throwing everyone, throwing Shirazda really, throwing Green. And this here, I knew this, I absolutely knew this. Kanikovitsky, when he does this technique, look, he did the same thing to Arai. He sits on people's legs. When he does the Sumigashi, he sits on people's legs. Have a look at it again. And now Green, I think Green, he's kind of in this situation and he's like, well, if he goes down to the ground, I can kind of smother him when he goes for the Sumigashi, but... When he sits on your leg, there's just nothing you can do. Your, your knee is forced to buckle. And here it is again from the, the Tokyo Grand Slam last year against Arai. Same technique and watch him sit on the knee. So anyway, Kanikovitsky takes gold. Shiraz is really silver. He took Yag, he took out Kaito with this nice technique here. Bronze medal for him. And also Buzakarini from Brazil winning by Shido. So going down a weight class now, we're going to have a look at under 90s. Jank. He took gold in the bronze medal contest, Hajiev. He won this quickly. Look at this really, really quick submission. Really just threw that hand under the chin very quickly there for a bronze medal. In the other bronze medal contest, Van Dyke beat Guac. It was good to see Guac on the mat though. Haven't seen him in a while. He's kind of making a return. And then the Estonian, Cal Julaid, he took the silver medal. Plus 100s now. And I will have a video on Tasuev. He won. Really great performance by him, lots of great techniques, so make sure you check out that video. He took out Bashaev, and Bashaev went through, took a bronze medal. Also Nakano from Japan, and he had some really nice techniques, have a look at these. And now, I may sound a little bit excited about these techniques, but last couple of times we've seen Nakano hasn't really done a lot, so it's good to see him kind of putting together some attacking judo. And then lastly, Kim, he took the silver medal. Obviously losing to Tatsuev in the final, but Kim from Korea, he's definitely one of my favorites at plus 100s at the moment. So heading over to the ladies divisions now, and we'll start with under 78. And you'll see the winning score here now by Oleg. Just countering well, countering the Uranage very well there. So she takes the gold medal and a silver for Lobnik. Over to the bronze medal contest now, we had Pavik from Croatia. She took one of the bronze medals. And then Batjieg from France. Now, if you are French, please tell me how to say that name. Batjieg? Batjieg? G-I-E-G? Not too sure how to say that. Please let me know. Up at plus 78, we had this monster of a woman. Look at the size difference. And here's the Makikomi to get the win. So, Mukunoki from Japan, she took silver. And then over to the bronze medals, we've got Heimi from France. And Wolzak from Poland. So just before I go guys, I'm going to leave you guys with a few epons. These are really nice. Now was a transition. Watch how quickly he spins around and locks up that arm. So definitely knew what turnover he wanted to go for. Jumped on it quickly and a little bit of the element of surprise there. So anyway guys, uh, stay tuned. Top epons video coming soon in the next day or two. Should be a good one. Like, subscribe and all that. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.